Hi guys, this is Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for all 12 signs. Will they ever own up to it? Will they ever own it? Um, guys, a couple things before we get into this. If you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find it in the description box below the video. I am doing a giveaway the month of April. If you book a personal reading with me, uh, U.S. only, has to be U.S. only, I am giving away five of my Magical Fantasy Tarot decks. So uh, there is a chance to win one of five of those decks, as well as if you buy one of my Magical Fantasy Tarot decks, they're available worldwide in the Etsy store. The link is in the description box below. They are $25. You will be entered into um, a drawing to win an, a half hour reading. So either way. So guys, let's get into this. Will they ever own it? Will they ever own it? Tell me about Aries. Will they ever own it? You got surprise and feelings. Okay, let's get into this. Tell me about Aries. Will they ever own it? Will they ever take responsibility? This person, maybe they're, they're figuring out that they have feelings for you, but they want a victory here. They're looking back at, uh, there's an opportunity for them to look back at past mistakes to try to have equal give and take in a situation. They know they may have broke your heart and they're at a crossroads where love is concerned. They're wishing to be honest. Yes, I do believe Aries, Aries is going to own it. Aries, the person you're dealing with will own up to this. Okay, Taurus, person you're dealing with. Taurus, will they ever own it? Will they ever own it, Taurus? Mm. Got message sent and karma. Message sent and karma for Taurus. A lot of majors, a lot of majors. I feel like this person's trying to close out a karmic cycle. You got the world. I feel like they're reconciling their strength because they're, they're kind of back and forth about it. They don't know which ends up, it looks like. Somebody has to see this from a different, they're back and forth. They need to see things from a different perspective. It has to do with um, a family situation. Um, somebody needs to take control of a situation here. They're waiting to take control. The reason they're waiting, um, Taurus, they feel like you're in that queen of swords mode, like you've got that sword ready. And this is why they're not saying anything. They're waiting. It's almost like they feel like uh, you're unapproachable right now. But I do see this person trying to, to close out the cycle and they're, they're trying to reconcile their strength. They're trying to figure out what they need to do to come forward, to see things from a different perspective. Maybe you. I feel like this person is, it, do I feel like they're going to own it? I don't feel like they're really owning it. Um, I feel like they're waiting to see if you will. So they're hoping that you'll see things from a different perspective. I don't know if they're going to feed you a line or if they want you to see it from their point of view. Um, I don't, it doesn't look like they're going to completely own it. It, it there is there, I, I do feel the energy of passing the buck a little bit. Okay. So that's what I'm feeling for Taurus. They may be trying to pass the buck, wanting you to take some ownership here. Okay. So 
Gemini. Will they own it? Okay. Someone's hanging on. There's a completion. Or, sorry, competition. Am I glancing over? Someone could be hanging on to the competition, guys. This person wants, they want a victory with the Empress. They want to, they want to work and collaborate. Um, there's an offer here, but they're still arguing about the, the Queen of Wands uh, being cut off. Okay, so at Gemini, I don't know if this is you. If you're, the, if you're the Empress, they want to work with you, but you're fighting with them about have they cut out this third party. No, they're still hanging on to the competition. They're still hanging on to the competition. You're wanting justice with somebody from the past moving forward. It's illuminating something being left out in the cold. Okay. The bottom line here is they're not owning it. Gemini, they want to work with you. You want to work with them, but they're still holding on to the competition. They have not. You're arguing and fighting about have they cut out the competition, but it's illuminating out in the cold. So in other words, what's happening here, this has to happen. You have to know that this person's been left out in the cold before you're willing to move forward with somebody from the past to justice. This person has not let go of the third party. They're still hanging on to the competition. Cancer. Will they own it? You got unrequited and genuine love. Does he love me? Does he, does he love me not? Kind of thing. Will he own it? Because maybe somebody's telling you, well, one minute they tell you they're in love with you. Next minute they tell you they're not. You're wishing at a crossroads for divine timing and judgment. So I feel like somebody, you're waiting to move forward to justice. So I feel like for you, the wheels turning in your favor for justice. I feel like you're ready to just move on, Cancer. Yeah, you were wish you were you had a wish. You were waiting for this wish. You were at a crossroads about moving forward, but in divine timing, you're going to get justice. Uh, your judgment is is nothing but an argument. So it's you're back and forth with somebody. They're going to regret this, right? They made their choice. They made their choice. Devil under the bottom of the deck. You're you're as far as you're concerned, you don't care if they love you or they don't, you know, they needed to make up their mind, their actions. They may have said to you that they loved you, that you were their soulmate, but their actions showed you that it was unrequited. You're waiting for this to happen and it never did. You know, this person's not coming clean. They're not coming forward. They're not making a decision. Um, you know, this person is just staying the way they are. Okay. So tell me about Leo. Will they own it? Tell 
Tell me about Leo. You have abundance and reconcile. They may have breadcrumbed you and they're trapped in their head about the truth. Leo, um, it's almost like this is, a, you may be dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, um, a relationship, pre-Empress energy. Um, somebody may have, uh, they're trapped in their head about a betrayal. The truth is someone's trapped in their head about a betrayal. They feel like there's no equal give and take. You may be dealing with a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. They could be a pre-Empress or you could be the pre-Empress relationship. It's had to do with an ending and somebody juggling in and out with deception. Somebody was cheating. I almost feel like someone cares more about reconciling their money or reconciling their abundance than they do about owning what they've done. Because I feel like this person their deception was the in and out juggling that caused the ending. Somebody was um, cheating here. The truth is you're trapped in your head about the betrayal. There is no equal give and take in this relationship. Somebody's more worried about their money than they are reconciling this relationship. I don't feel like they're owning anything. Tell me about Virgo. Will they own it? <clears throat> you got fear and spark. Somebody can't think of, stop thinking about. <laughs> Somebody, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. You must be a whole snack. That's all I got to say. The fear of the spark, okay? The intensity of the relationship. New passionate beginning. Somebody can't get you out of their head. They're having sleepless nights. The truth is they wish they could resist you. They wish they could resist you. They feel like there's competition. They want the end the competition. You, they want you to end the competition. That would be their wish fulfillment. Um, they may argue with you about this, or they've passionately communicated to you about this. Um, this person, <laughs> I feel like this person has more than owned it with you. They feel that it's almost like it's fear. Um, there, it's like they they cannot resist. Um, you on a sexual level. That's what it, this is about. Somebody just really is telling you, uh, I want you to stop with the competition. They can't stop thinking about you, but they don't want to be included in, in some kind of a, you know, a third party situation. But I feel like this person cannot resist you. And I feel like they have communicated that to you. They have owned it. So tell me about Libra. Libra. Somebody is feeling heartbroken and rejected. Will they own it, Libra? Will they own it?
somebody's wish is to heal their wish is to heal from this drama this competition the truth is they're heartbroken this this person is heartbroken they are in love they want a commitment with you but they're discontent They're discontent. They want to work on something. They're communicating an offer. They're negotiating with you. Okay. This person is feeling rejected and heartbroken. It's almost like they're asking you to come back to them. I feel like there's competition, there's drama here. Um, they do love you. They're unhappy though. They're obsessed, trapped in their head, not talking. It's almost like they can't, they can't put themselves, they can't put it to words where you're concerned. Um, this person wants to be with you. There's love here. They want commitment, but they're needing to heal because of the competition. They're bro they're heartbroken. This is working on communicating an offer but they hold back because of a third party. They feel like that you've put them in a third party position or they've put you in a third party position. Will they own it? I don't think they'll own it. I feel like they're, they're too in their head about things. They're not, they're not coming clean with it. Um, this is either you or them, but I feel like, um, it's almost like Whoever rejected the person is the one who's feeling the pain from it, that, that wants to talk, but they're holding back. Tell me about Scorpio. You got clarity and passionate. You have a relationship that someone feels is a partnership. They want a victory and they want it to be successful, but somebody needs to see things from a different perspective, trying to waiting to recover, waiting to recover from a tower moment. Um, this, the tower moment, maybe somebody cheated. Somebody, there's passion here. Somebody wants clarity on if somebody cheated, they're waiting because they feel like there's a tower moment here. Somebody wants to rebuild and have a new beginning in a relationship. So you want to know if somebody's cheated, will they own it? Um, I'm not seeing it. I feel like you're asking the question, but I don't know that it's getting answered. Tell me about Sag. Will they own it? Yeah, somebody's taking a chance to message somebody. Someone needs the strength to be patient. It's illuminating somebody stressed out. Wanting to reconcile. Pre-Empress energy. They've made their decision. They're coming towards you. To try to, they're trying to recover here. They don't want to miss an opportunity. They're trapped in their head thinking they're going to miss the opportunity for this family situation. I feel like this, um, Sagittarius, I feel like this person's coming towards you and they're, they're going to own up to whatever it is they need to own up to. It's almost like they can't get to you fast enough. Tell me about Capricorn.
You got marriage and affection. This could be two things, Capricorn. You could be married to somebody or they could be married to somebody, but they got affection for somebody else. He's obsessed with the Empress. The Emperor is obsessed with the Empress here. The King of Swords is getting cut out from a family situation because of the drama. Mind games and manipulation being offered. So I feel like that's exactly what's happening. There's a choice to be made here. You have be patient moving forward, okay? Um, they're saying hold back. So I feel like in this case, Capricorn, um, I feel like this person, this person may be married, but they have affection for somebody else. So um, are they going to be honest and own it? No, I don't see anybody owning anything here. I see somebody wanting uh, their cake and eat it too. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so Aquarius, will they own it? Mm. You got rejected in secret. Someone may have rejected somebody, but they don't want him to talk about it. They want to keep something a secret. They want to keep it on the down low. Tell me about it, Aquarius. Will they own it? Yeah, see? Okay, see? You have a queen of cups. Passionately communicating. They want to take the leap towards the relationship. Somebody is in a relationship, I feel like, but they've rejected somebody. There's a third party trying to recover, not speaking. Queen of wands. The truth, not being honest. Not being honest about the commitment. Feeling very guarded and defensive. They may have rejected this queen of wands, but they want whatever is happening. They're trying to uh, keep this person from talking to this person. They don't want the queen of wands talking to the queen of cups. They wanting to speak the truth about the commitment, but feeling very guarded and defensive or very guarded or resisted. They may have moved forward. They may have passionately said they wanted to move forward with the Queen of Cups. I feel like this also could be that they want to reconcile and heal with the Queen of Cups, but they're not speaking to the, the Queen of Wands. But the truth about the commitment, someone's being resistant. So they're not really being honest about it. Uh, they're absolutely not being honest about it. The one that's rejected knows the truth. Tell me about Pisces. Will they own it, Pisces? You got thinking of you in third person. We are in retrograde, guys. If it's meant to come back around, it certainly will. Yeah, this is a past that the door needs to be closed on. So there's a past, and then you have the world card trying to close out this cycle of a relationship to move forward to a partnership. Um, 
you might have not told somebody that you were in a commitment where they didn't. Cutting out the emperor. New beginning in love moving forward. You took a chance and you got married, but you didn't tell anybody. And now you're, you're, somebody's cut, being cut out for love. You're maybe moving forward thinking of a third person. Somebody may be thinking of you third person. I don't feel like anybody's owning anything here. I feel like somebody's just not telling anybody that they've gotten married. Um, and, and now they're moving, they're moving towards a new love and cutting somebody out. So the person that this third person may not even have a clue that somebody got married, or it could be that somebody got married, didn't tell anybody else about it, right? If they were in a relationship with somebody else, they didn't tell that other person. So guys, that is all I have for you. If that resonates, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I hope you stay blessed.